Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is uh, the start and check of a new heat pump. All right, uh, can you adjust or check the charge um, in heat pump mode? All right, so the first thing, the first question is, can we check the superheat? All right, right now, let's check the superheat just to see what it is. We have 102 psig. This is 410A refrigerant. All right, so 410A refrigerant we see that the actual temperature right here saturated for the pink ring is actually at 34 degrees roughly 33 34 now at your angle it may look differently but it's actually at about 33 degrees saturated state so the saturated state is talking about about in the coil right here it's trying to read the pressure uh, basically in the coil and that's what it's giving you as a temperature now, our actual temperature on this line right here is 68 degrees. All right, so 33 degrees minus off from 68. So we have 35 degrees of superheat presently, okay? Suction line, vapor line, all right, that's right there. We have our temp probe on that to read. This is our discharge line, by the way. This is the hottest part on the whole system during heat pump mode. You can see we're up at uh, 300 and uh 15 psig right now all right so we've checked the superheat all right but is it is it accurate for using to check the charge and the answer is no all right the the long and short of it is no you cannot use that all right you can actually check a heat pump in cooling mode uh, when it's 65 70 degrees outside and there's a load on the building you can check for subcooling if the unit has a txv inside or if it has a piston inside you can check it uh, with superheat but in this case we're running in heat mode and it's winter time but it happens to be a kind of a warmer day outside all right uh, it's right around 60 degrees right now so the heat really shouldn't be turning on and off that that much uh, to cool to actually heat the building so um, what we really need to do here is if we check this this uh, insulation manual and it says that it comes with a heat pump worth 15 foot worth of line set and an evaporator cool worth of line of uh, refrigerant then any additional lineal feet that we add to the line set we have to add refrigerant charge into this so if we're installing this for the first time and say we have 16 foot worth of line set we need to add one additional foot worth of line set refrigerant charge to this system and okay? we can do that by refrigerant weights that we do not just due to the volume of the pipes here while it's operating all right, so I happen to get a, a decent chart off of uh, a unitary product group, which is a York, uh, York one. Most York units come with 15 foot with a line set. A lot of other manufacturers come with about 15 foot with a line set, but you want to read your manual and make sure it doesn't come with, say, 25 foot worth of line set. So it's the heat pump we're talking about uh, from the beginning, has refrigerant in it, and it usually has about 15 foot worth of line set and an evaporator coil and the heat pump worth of refrigerant already inside. So once you vacuum down these lines after pressure testing, you uh, turn uh, back seat these uh, service valves and you let the refrigerant flow in, all right, you're still gonna be say one foot off and you wanna add that refrigerant charge to the system. All right, so if if we say, if say this was a inch and eighth line, obviously it's not, it's a three quarter OD outside diameter, three quarter ACR pipe. But if this was a inch and an eighth, and this three eighths is always three eighths for the liquid line for the most part with uh, residential late commercial uh, systems for the liquid line. If it was inch and an eighth line for every lineal foot, we're looking at 0 0.208 ounces that you need to add. The three eighths line, you need to add 0.54 ounces. So the total per lineal foot, if this was inch and an eighth and this was three eighths for 410A refrigerant, uh, you're looking at 0.748 ounces per lineal foot added. So if that's 10 additional feet, you're looking at 7.48 ounces of refrigerant added to your system. All right, if this was 7 eighths line set and this was 3 eighths, the 7 eighths portion for every foot is 0.128 ounces. The liquid line, 0.54 ounces. All right, so uh, for every lineal foot you add, if this was a 7 eighths line and that was 3 eighths, you're looking at 0.668 ounces. All right, so if it was 10 additional feet, you're looking at 6.8 six eight ounces if it's three quarter which is what it is 
right now, this is actually three quarter outside diameter. It's 0.08 ounce per lineal foot. Once again, the three eighths line is this always the same 0.54 ounce. So you're, the total you're adding per lineal foot of both is 0.62. All right. 0.62 ounces for every lineal foot. If it was 10 foot extra, you'd be looking at 6.62 ounces extra refrigerant. I'll give you one more value. It's uh, for 5 eighths right here. Uh, 5 eighths refrigerant line for the suction side is 0 0.064 ounce per lineal foot. And this is 0.54 so you're looking at, for every one foot additional lineal foot, you're looking at 0 0.604 ounces. All right. So for every 10 foot extra, it will be uh, 6.604. All right. So you, what you're going to need to do is maybe you can find a chart like this. You t I found this one by just typing in Google, York Refrigerant Weight Suction and Liquid. All right. And I came up with this. It's on upgnet.com. It's in their PDF section there. Um, but you can find this in the insulation manuals potentially. Uh, sometimes you find them in the in the cover under under the cover. Um, but uh, you want to come up with your own that you feel comfortable with using. That just happens to be the one that I found that I feel comfortable in using. So you want to find your own. I'm basically showing you this video just so you know how much to or how to check and add refrigerant to a heat pump in, in heat pump mode. Um, but those values came off of uh, UPG net.com all right but uh, i would encourage you to find your own chart and have that in your service truck or have a digital file of of one that you feel comfortable with and and that'll work all right hope you enjoyed yourself and see you next time at ac service tech channel